गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स दैट्स आवर सेकंड सेशन ऑन होमोनिम्स और कॉमनली कंफ्यूज वर्ड्स इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गोइंग फॉर एसएससी बैंकिंग गवर्नमेंट जॉब एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज कैट मैट जैट जी मैट जी आर ई फॉर ऑल एम बी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन यू मे लाइक माई फेसबुक पेज दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स एज वेल एज फॉर मोर वीडियोज माई वेबसाइट इज डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट दिनेश मिगलानी डॉट कॉम माई कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर इज जीरो नाइन टू वन डबल फाइव वन डबल फोर थ्री फाइव फॉर एन इक्वायरी यू मे सेंड ई मेल टू मी एट माई ई मेल आई डी लीगल बडी एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम रेगुलर अपडेट्स ऑफ माई वीडियोज यू मे सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल एट द रेट दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स आई एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम यू टू शेयर माई वीडियोज ऑन योर फेसबुक वोल एज वेल एज you may send the links to your friends so that they will also be benefited by this let us start with the second session of homonyms or commonly confused words the first word that we have that is root route and root right when we talk about the root a part of the body of the plant below surface earth right for example that is earth that is a plant that is said to be the root of the plant right route route is to defeat right means to uh, defeat someone root is a course of way right so that route generally we say when we have to go from uh, bombay to calcutta so the route from bombay to calcutta right and that route is used for the part of the plant and that is route to defeat right the dash of this tree is very deep when we talk about the tree it means part of the tree here we can say that the root of this tree is very deep right the indian army the pakistani army in 1971 we know that indian army defeated pakistan army in 1971 right and that route means to defeat the so indian army routed the pakistan army in 1971 okay the blank of this bus has been changed when we talk about the course of the bus or route of the bus r o u t e right so here we can say that the route of this bus has been changed okay that root route and root next is sore sensitive and sore right that sore s o a r is to rise that uh, word s o a r is to rise sensitive means readily or excessively affected by external influences right bahut hi jo samvedanshil hai that is very very sensitive right which can be affected very easily next we have sore s o u r right having an acid taste रिजम्बलिंग ऑफ द लेमन जूस जिसको हम खट्टा कह देते हैं सोर एस ओ यू आर यू नो दैट द ग्रेप्स आर सोर इट्स अ वेरी फेमस प्रोवर दैट इज ग्रेप्स आर सोर राइट तो अंगूर खट्टे हैं तो दैट सोर एसओ यू आर दैट वर्ड इज यूज फॉर दैट सोर ओके द प्राइस ऑफ द असेंशियल कॉमोडिटीज आर सोरिंग हाई राइट तो देयर वर्ड इज सोर एस ओ आर दैट आर इंक्रीजिंग हाई राइट her eyes are sensitive her eyes are sensitive okay the these oranges taste sour s o u r that word is used sour s o u r having a acid taste resembling to the lemon juice that is said to be sour next is stationary and stationary right so sometime there is a uh, confusion here once in cat this question have been asked when we talk about a stationary standing still not moving right means something that is still that is said to be stationary and stationary e e stands for writing material such as pens pencils and papers that is used for stationary right it is believed that the sun is stationary s t a t i o n a r y the sun is stationary right means sun is stand still it's not moving only earth is revolving around the sun right he has opened a shop in the mark main market so here we can say He has opened a stationery shop. S T A T I O N E R Y. He has opened a stationery shop in the main market, right? So here we can say that answer is said to be uh, E R Y, right? But that is a place where you can buy uh, material for pens, pencils, and papers. Next one is temper and temper. Temper to meddle, right? To meddle, or we can say to interfere. To interfere. right or you may call it as to change temper sometime we take it as uh, no tempering has been done with the evidences right or we may say evidences are tempered when we say evidences are tempered it means some change has been there in the evidences temper 
right it's your feeling it's a particular state of mind right that's your temperament so we use temper is your feeling a particular state of mind right and temper is to meddle or to interfere or to change he should note with my personal paper he should not temper with my personal paper because temper here means that he should not make any change make any interfere with my personal paper right she lost her and slapped her friend she lost her temper here we use the word temper t e m p e r right that's the temperament of the person is the uh, state of mind or feeling of the person she lost her temper and slapped her friend okay next one is team and team that team it's a number of persons associated for some joint action that is said to be team t e a m team t w e m that is to abound or to swarm t w e m to abound right he is a member of the cricket team t e a m o f our college he is a member of the cricket team o f our college right this deserted place with poisonous scorpions it means uh, at this deserted place number of uh, scorpions are there so here we can say this deserted place teams with poisonous scorpions right the number of scorpions are there in this deserted place right so here we have used this term team right this deserted place is abounded with poisonous scorpion right or we may say uh, we, we may call it as deserted place is teamed with is teamed with poisonous scorpions next one is vein vein and vein right although when we uh, pronounce them they seems to be same but there is a difference in their meaning as well as the spellings are different vein v a i n right without real importance without real significance or useless right so vein jisko hum hindi mein kya kehte hain vyarth that is said to be useless all efforts are in vain right means we have not got any result out of those efforts vein v a n e a device rotating freely in a horizontal plane and so mounted and formed as to the point into the wind right a device rotating freely in the horizontal plane and so mounted and formed as to the point into the wind right so sometime you have a devices of this type vein v a i n right they are the artery it's a vessel conveying blood from various part of the body to the heart the veins of the uh, human body right from where the blood uh, from where the blood changes uh, all these are the routes for the blood right all these efforts to find is lost child were in vain v a i n here we have to use this word vain means we have not got any result uh, all efforts have been in vain the vein is pointing to the west means that's an indication that this instrument is pointing to the west is one of the system of the branching vessels conveying blood from various parts of the bodies to the heart that is said to be vein v e i n right so vein system is one of the system of branching vessels conveying blood from various parts of the body to the heart here we use the word vein v e i n next one is verse and verse this verse is line of a poem or stanza right or you may call it as a poetry right we uh, what we can say that the verses of that particular poem stanza of a particular poem verse that's a comparatively degree of bad bad verse verse so what we can say bad verse right and then we have worst so that is the comparatively uh, form of this bad he is fond of writing verses he is fond of writing verses right uh, he is fond of writing uh, small stanzas of the poem right the condition of the patient has gone worse has gone worse after the operation means after doing the operation now comparatively situation of comparatively condition of the patient is not good so we may call it as worse okay next one is wheel wheel and wheel wheel that is ghungat jisko hindi mein kya kehte hain ghungat right means women's covering for face or curtain right at some distant places in the villages also there is a culture of wheel right a uh, wheel v a l e that is used for valley w a i l to lament loudly right to lament loudly or lament means to weep loudly right jisko hum kehte hain shok prakat karna lament okay so what we can say her face was covered with a veil v e i l so if you are from the commerce background so you heard about uh, corporate veil 
you use the term in the commerce that is said to be corporate veil, right? That is her face was covered with a veil. The dash of Kangra is famous for its scenery. The veil of Kangra, right? The valley of Kangra, or you may call it as a veil of Kangra, right? The dash of widow moved my heart. The veil of widow means uh, to lament loudly, to weep loudly has moved my heart, right? So here we have the three words here, V-E-I-L, V-A-L-E -E and W-A-I-L. Next one is way and wait. Way is a road or direction or passage, right? And wait to find how many heavy a thing is, right? Well, the, here what we can say that, can you tell me the shortest way? Can you tell me the shortest way okay, to cannot place? It is way, W-A-I-H, right? The next one is, weigh this or these article properly. Means you have to measure the article, way means simply measure, M-E-A-S-U-R-E, right? We have two words here, one is the way, W-A-Y, and second is W-E-I-G-H, right? So it means that to find out how much having a particular thing is, right? So that is a verb, weigh this article properly, right? Next one is wet and wet. When we talk about this wet, that is containing water. W E D, containing water, wet to sharpen by rubbing. Okay. Or the clothes of the child have become wet. W E T. Right. The sight of hot food, the beggar's appetite. Right. It means that the beggars, the sight of the hot food, uh, the sight of the hot food, the beggar's appetite wetted the beggar appetite means it aggravated the hunger of the beggar right here we can say there is a difference between these two words wet w e t that containing water you may call it a drenched d r e n c h e d only uh, there is a difference in the degree wet means gila drenched means pani mein bhiga hua to dono mein thoda farak hai wet is small degree of containing water and drenched means have a degree of containing water, right? So here a uh, wet and wet. Next one is wave and wave. Wave is to signal, right? Wave, W-A-Y-V-E, -E, that is to give up, okay? So here uh, the guard, the red flag to stop the train. Guard waved. Guard waved the red flag to stop, uh, to stop the train, right? The headmaster has waived his fine. Headmaster has waived his fine. Mala uske fine ko maaf kar diya, right? Or we may call it as remitted. R E M I T T E D. Uh, primarily for fine, we use the word remission of fines, right? That is remitted, right? But I can say that the guard waved the red flag to stop the train. Okay, that W A V E V W A V E. As well as the wave we use for hawa ka joka bhi kehte hain wave. How are the wave, right? Uh, the headmaster has waived his fine. Okay. Next one we have indigent and indigenous. Indigent means poor. Indigent fellow, that is poor fellow. Indigenous native or Savdeshi. That is uh, a common term that we use for indigenous Savdeshi, right? The people of the rural areas are generally digent or poor. So you may call it as the people of the rural area are generally indigent, right? Handloom and handicrafts are indigenous industries. I N D I G E N O U S. So what we can say that that indigenous word deals with native, right? Uh, that we can say that the belonging to their country, belong to their own country, native, Savdeshi, right? So handloom and handicraft are basically indigenous industries. Next is stimulant and stimulus. Stimulant, it's a, uh, it's an uh, particle or it's a thing that stimulates or acts on the body. Stimulus means that which stimulates acts on the mind. There is a difference between them. When we say stimulant, stimulant acts on the body, right? And stimulus acts on the mind. Okay. So what we can say that for some people, coffee is a mind. Coffee is a mild. Mild means very uh, light, mild stimulant. For some persons, the coffee is a mild stimulant because after uh, taking the coffee, you feel sort of energetic, right? It means that that has put some effect on the body, 
राइट प्राइजेज एंड स्कॉलरशिप सर्व एज ए ग्रेट स्टिमुलस ग्रेट मोरल बूस्टिंग तो ग्रेट स्टिमुलस टू द स्टूडेंट राइट वट वी कैन से दैट प्राइजेज एंड स्कॉलरशिप सर्व एज ए ग्रेट स्टिमुलस टू द स्टूडेंट मीन्स दे आर वेरी मोरल बूस्टिंग फॉर द स्टूडेंट राइट देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन बिकॉज दैट वर्ड स्टिमुलेंट एक्ट ऑन द बॉडी ऑफ ए पर्सन राइट एंड स्टिमुलस दैट एक्ट ऑन द माइंड ऑफ ए पर्सन राइट तो देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्टिमुलेंट एंड स्टिमुलस ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज स्पिरिचुअल एंड स्पिरिटेड स्पिरिचुअल एंड स्पिरिटेड वेन वी से स्पिरिचुअल पर्टेनिंग टू द सोल और डिवाइन थिंग्स वेन वी से स्पिरिचुअल स्पिरिचुअल पर्टेनिंग टू द सोल और डिवाइन थिंग्स स्पिरिटेड दैट इज क्रेजियस राइट मीन्स हैविंग करेज तो गांधी जी वॉज द गाइड ऑफ मैनी पीपल स्पिरिचुअल गाइड ठीक है जिसको हम कहते हैं धार्मिक राइट द गांधी जी वॉज द स्पिरिचुअल गाइड ऑफ मैनी पीपल अशोका गेव ए एड्रेस टू द डिसिडेंट ग्रुप ऑफ हिज पार्टी स्प्रिटेड एड्रेस मीन्स वेरी क्रेजियस स्प्रिटेड राइट देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू वर्ड स्पिरिचुअल एंड स्प्रिटेड वेन वी से स्पिरिचुअल मीन्स पर्टेनिंग टू द सोल पर्टेनिंग टू द डिवाइन थिंग्स स्पिरिटेड मीन्स क्रेजियस राइट समटाइम वी यूज ए वर्ड स्पिरिट एस पी आई आर आई टी दी स्टूडेंट्स हैव ए ग्रेट स्पिरिट ऑफ नेशनलिज्म राइट तो दैट वर्ड इज स्पिरिटेड ओके फीलिंग यूनियन एंड यूनिटी यूनियन मीन्स इट्स ए होल और ए कॉम्बिनेशन यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया राइट यूनिटी दैट इज वननेस यू एन ओ इज ए यूनियन ऑफ द नेशन इट्स ए यूनियन ऑफ द नेशन राइट द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द नेशन डिपेंड्स ऑन इज यूनिटी जिसको हम कहते हैं एकता वननेस इज सेट टू बी एकता वट वी कैन से दैट the strength of the nation depends on its unity willful and willing right willful means with your own will and willing willing means inclined right obstinate means where you are very very obstinate on it you should not approve of his willful ways <coughs> right i am dash to help everyone who is serious about this task i am willing to help everyone i am willing to help everyone right what we can say that is a difference willing ka matlab hota hai ichuk willing ko hum kya kehte hain ichuk ichuk means who is ready right who has a uh, will to do something and when we say willful we, uh, it means that wants act according to his will right obstinate means where is very very adamant right here we can say that you should not approve of his willful ways i am willing to help everyone who is serious about his task course and course course and course right that course c o a r s e that is rough okay course c o u r s e that is line of action or we may take it as textbook right she bought 10 meters of course cloth c o a r s e right uh, means that uh, she bought 10 meters of rough cloth right the central board has revised the course in hindi revise the course in hindi means that is the line of action or textbook right whatever you study we study about the course of a particular subject the central board has revised the course on hindi disease and disease disease that is uh, it is simply the death disease that is sickness right it's all of an element the accident seems to have been the cause for our uncle disease d e c e a s e uncle's death right even a dash like cancer is curable in its preliminary stage so that is even a disease like d i s e a s e even a disease like cancer is curable in the preliminary stage right next one is drown and sink right when we talk about drown and sink okay although both simply deals with doobna right but when we talk about the drown that is basically drowning of a living thing right so when we talk about drown d r o w n that simply deals with it's used for the 
living beings okay so that we can say that that down basically used for the living things used for living things right when a person is drowned to uh, with a person pani mein doob jata hai so we can say that the drown deals with the use for living things sink is generally used for the inanimate things right for example the ship sank in the sea right well, so what i can say that three person were drowned here we use the word drowned theek hai teen log nadi mein doob gaye drowned the ship sank and all its crew members all its crew were the ship sinks because here we have the word sink so when we talk about the ship that deals with the sink right and all its crew member were drowned so that is the difference between these two right so when we talk about the ship because it's an uh, inanimate thing it means for that we use the word sink right and crew they are uh, living beings so for that we use the word drown right so that is the basic difference between the sink and drown next one is dual and dual the dual means double dual specialization right dual a combat between two person right or we may talk it as a fight between two person right the so my friend has a dual personality my friend has a dual personality he has a, a double personality right sometime he is very talkative and sometime he is uh, he is very cool and calm right so that person has a dual personality shivaji challenged him to a duel d u e l right means challenge a person to a fight right it's a combat between two person that is said to be d u e l next one is feet and feet fit means plural of foot right feet means a deed of skill reena has no shoes on her feet right rajput have many feats of bravery to their credit means they have number of uh, bravery is a deed of skill means uh, something that jisko hum kahani keh dete hain so we can say that the rajput has many feats of bravery to their credit right so here that is the difference between feat and feat foul and foul unfair f o u l and this foul is birds b o b i r d s birds right we should not use foul means right unfair means next one is foul of different species can be seen in the zoo right although both words seems to be same f o u l and f o w l f o u l is uh, unfair right and this foul f o w l is birds the foul of different species can be seen in the zoo gate and gate that gate g a t e the deals with an entrance or a passage the deals with an entrance or a passage g a i t there's a matter it's a manner of walk it's a manner of walking right the style of walking that is said to be g a i t right so the here we can say that the dash of our hostel are closed at 8 pm so we can say that the gate of our hostel is closed are closed at 8 pm right anju has a graceful gait g a i t anju has a graceful gait g a i t right here we can say that there is a difference between gait g a t e and g a i t the gait are the entrance or passages right and the gait is a style of walking is a manner of walking right accept and accept that earlier we have studied opposite of the uh, reject right and accept is living out so she has accepted my invitation she has accepted my invitation to visit my house all were present in the class except rita okay honorary and honorable honorary and honorable honorary means holding an office without reward right means it means that to work without any salary it is opposite to the word sinecure s i n e c u r it means that salary without any work and here working without any salary honorary right honorable worthy of honor her brother offered his service for the association offered his honorary services her brother offered his honorary services to 
for association next is the brutus is an honorable man brutus is an honorable man right here we have two words first one is honorary that is holding an office without an reward right or we can say that to work without salary next one is honorable that is worthy of honor what we can say that her brother offered his honorary services for the association and brutus is an honorable man able and capable right able is ability to perform capable is adequate capacity to make means there is a difference when we say able it does not mean adequate capacity capability is he has adequate capacity right i am able to work properly right me and means i have ability to work right very few people are capable of achieving such feats in life capable because here we are concerned with whether the person has all adequate capacity all adequate abilities so there is a difference between able and capable right next is pale and pale pale whitish appearance sometime after the fever right there should be uh, whitish appearance pale pila padna isam kehte hain pale that is bucket she turned pale with fear she turned pale with fear right the maid brought the water into the pail p a i l into the bucket right so that's the basic difference between p a l e and p a i l that p a i l that deals with the bucket right and p a l e that is a whitish appearance next is rain rain and rain that rain r a i n that is the water from the clouds in the form of the drops isko hum barish kehte hain rain r e i g n that is to rule right r e i n that means of control it rained very heavily it rained very heavily yesterday right during the reign of ashoka r e i g n during the reign of ashoka india was prosperous country right hold the horse by the rein r e i n right so there is a difference between these three r a i n that deals with the water from the clouds right and r e i g n that deals with to rule and r e i n that is a means of control right so here we are in a position to say r a i n r e i g n r e i n next one is weather and weather weather atmospheric conditions right and weather if or if not okay the is very fine today so we may say that the weather is very fine today w e a t h e r right the weather is very fine today she asked me whether i could help her or not she asked me whether w h e t h e r she asked me whether i could help her or not there is a difference between these two whether w e a t h e r that is the atmospheric condition and whether w h e t h e r that is e for if not career and career there is a difference between career and career career means course of life about the profession right and career means one that carries one that carries right uh, she had a very brilliant career at school she had a very brilliant career at school right flies and mosquitoes are the carrier of disease flies and mosquitoes are the carrier of disease right so we can say there is a difference between these two career c a r w e r and carrier so when we say career right the career is she has uh, she had a brilliant career she has a brilliant future right and carrier means those the, those who carries right next is session and session session is a term second session third session and session is to give up the enemy demanded the session of a part of the territory the monsoon session of the parliament had early or had already started right there is a difference between these two session session of the territory generally means that when uh, you have to uh, leave a part of the territory right uh, that session deals with the term t e r m concert and consort concert means performance right and consort means husband or wife there is there is a big difference between concert and consort concert c o n c e r t that concert means performance okay and consort means husband or wife there is a musical concert c o n c e r t 
there is a musical concert at Mandi House next week, right? Consort, C O N S O R T, husband or wife. The prince was in the company of his consort. The prince was in the company of his consort, right? It means that the prince was in the company of his wife, right? There is a difference between concert, that is performance, and consort, that deals with the husband or wife. Core, corpse, or corpse. Core means central part, right? Corpse means a division of the army and corpse, that is the dead body, right? There is a difference between core, corpse, C-O-R-P-S, you have N-C-G, that is National Cadet Corpse. So here, at that place, you have the word C-O-R-P-S, right? And next we have corpse, C-O-R-P-S-C, -E, that is the dead body. I thanked her from the core of my heart. I thanked her from the core of my heart, right? To which dash of the army does your uncle belong? To which corpse of the army your uncle belong, right? And the dash should be removed to the graveyard at once. The corpse of the the corpse should be removed at the graveyard at once, right? We know that grave that place is the graveyard, right? So where we have to Shamshan Gadi Sham Kadete Murdagar, or you may call it as Kabristan. The corpse should be removed to the graveyard at once. There is a difference between C-O-R-P-S and C-O-R-P-S-E, right? A descent, descent and, de right? So when we talk about this term, a descent, respectable, okay? That second one is a descent, that is disagreement. Where you are not agree with someone, that is said to be descent and descent, that is coming down, right? So we may call it as uh, descendants of a family means the sons of the family or the children of the family or we may say that the further future generation of the family. Ramesh has a decent income. Ramesh has a decent income that means he has a respectable income. Her vote of dash was duly recorded. Her vote of decent. Her vote of decent was duly recorded. Right. The dash from this side of the hill is very steep. The descent from uh, descent from this side of the hill is very steep, means coming from the top. That is the descent from this side of the hill is very steep, right? So there is a difference between descent, D-E-C-E-N-T, descent, D-I-S-S-E-N-T, and D-E-S-C-E-N-T, right? A differ and defer. When we say the differ, it's to a disagree, right? And defer means to postpone. There is a difference between differ and defer. I with Sabina in this matter. I deferred with Sabina. Right. The judgment was to a later date. The judgment was deferred. The judgment was deferred to a later date. Right. So there is a difference between the defer and defer. When we talk about the defer, that is to a disagree. And defer means to postpone. Difference and deference. When we say a difference, that is a disagreement. Right. And deference means respect. There is no in our views on this matter. There is a no difference in our views in this matter. There is a no difference. D I W F E R E N C E. There is a no difference in our views on this matter, right? With due deference, with due deference to you, I cannot approve to your proposal. With this uh, deference to you, with the, with due respect to you, I cannot approve your proposal. Right, so there is a difference between difference and difference, right? Next one is poor, poor and poor. P-O-U-R, that is uh, smooth. Sorry, when we talk about this uh, word, P-O-U-R, pure means uh, the water is pouring. It means that the water is pouring, so there we use this word poor, P-O-U-R, to cause to flow. The meaning of this word is to cause to flow. To cause to flow, P O U R, right? Then pore, small holes. That is basically small holes, P O R E, to be absorbed in study. Okay? So when we say that the first sentence is some coffee to the glass, that is pore, P O U R, right? Uh, he was sweating at every pore. Her hole se pasina bara tha, right? Do not pore over your book throughout the day. It means do not be. Absorbed so much in your books throughout the day. So although both words have the same spelling there, but there is a, a difference in their meaning. 
P-O-R-E can also be used for small holes, right? And it can also be used as to be absorbed in study, right? And P-O-U-R is to cause to flow. So this is end to our second session of homonyms. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you very much. You may send your feedback at my email ID legalbuddy at gmail.com or correct me on my Facebook at the rate Dinesh Miglani. My WhatsApp number 0921551435. I expect from you to share my videos on your Facebook wall as well as with your friends so that they will also be benefited by this. Thank you very much.